This demonstration explains the setup of total discount pricing in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Microsoft Dynamics AX uses trade agreements to define discounts and prices for customers and items. Trade agreements are also used for vendors, but the pricing demonstrations will review customer pricing. There are four types of trade agreements. This demonstration will review how to set up total discount trade agreements. Total discounts are a percentage or an amount deducted from the order. Effective dates and minimum order amounts can be created in the trade agreements. Total discounts are only calculated on the items that are eligible for total discounts. Each item is flagged on the item master, indicating if the item is to be included. Some items, such as service or other non-inventory items, are often excluded from total discounts. Total discounts are calculated for customers or sales orders linked to a total discount group. Customer price discount groups can be created from accounts receivable or inventory. First, select the type of group we are creating, total discount group, then create an identifier for the discount group. The group created will be later attached to all of the customers that will receive the corresponding discounts. Click on the Trade Agreements button to launch the Trade Agreements form. Setting up a trade agreement for a total discount is slightly different from the other trade agreements because items are not specified. The other difference is the field called Amount. Amount is used if there is a minimum amount that must be purchased before the discount will be calculated. This field is the same as the Quantity field used in other trade agreements. In our example, we have created a total discount of 2%. The discount will be applied if the sales order meets the minimum order requirement of $5,000. We have not assigned effective dates, so the discount is available immediately and does not have an end. Please review the line discount demonstration for a detailed explanation of each field. After the trade agreements are created, they are linked to the customers that are eligible for the discount. Go to the Customer Form in Accounts Receivable, go to the Sales Order tab, and fill in the Total Discount Group. When creating sales orders, the Total Discount Group listed for the customer will default into the sales order. Each item that is included or excluded from a total discount is identified on the Item Master Form in the Inventory Management module. Go to the Price Discount tab and review the setting on the Total Discount field. The default setting is to include items for discount. Verify that all items are identified correctly. If the Total Discount box is checked, the item will be eligible for the total discount. The trade agreements must be activated before any discounts or prices will be calculated by Microsoft Dynamics AX. Select the Activate Price Discount option from the Accounts Receivable Setup. Select the Total Discount tab and select the combinations that will be used. The combinations are for a specific customer, a group of customers, or all customers. Checking only the combinations being used will improve system performance. In this example, we have set up a 2% total discount for orders greater than $5,000. The order requirement of $5,500 only includes the items that are eligible for the total discount. If the total for the order is over $5,000 but only $4,000 is eligible for a total discount, then the discount will not be granted. Line 1 is an item that is eligible for total discounts. Line 2 is not eligible. On the line level of the sales order, click on the Calculation button and select Total Discount to calculate the total discount on the order. Then review the header level of the sales order, select Inquiries, and then Totals. This shows the total discount amount of $110 is calculated as 2% of the eligible order amount, which is $5,500.